Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to record your PlayStation 5 gameplay directly to your PC using this capture card right here. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So the capture card I am using is called the Evermedia Live Gamer Ultra. It has a 4K HDR pass-through, allowing me to see my PlayStation 4 gameplay in perfect picture and resolution. Now you may get some capture cards that only have like a 1080p pass-through, which will limit the resolution you can display it on your monitor. Now I have an HDMI cable connected to my PlayStation 5, and then the other one goes directly to my monitor. And then this USB cable travels to my computer and directly connects it. Now you will need a computer with USB 3.0 to take advantage of this capture card, otherwise it won't work. Now, once you have everything set up, let's go over to my PlayStation and turn it on and download some recording software on my PC. Now, I like using Streamlabs OBS. That has worked well and is completely free for you guys to use. So let's download that software and load up everything. Okay, so open up a web browser and then go to google.com and just type in OBS. And you can get this called Open Broadcaster Software. Otherwise, you can type in Streamlabs OBS. Now, Streamlabs OBS is pretty much OBS just with some more specific streaming like uh, transitions screens and some stuff you can download from like a specific store and that's one of the reasons i like it. it just has a little bit more extra stuff to it if you're going to be live streaming so go ahead and get one of these and i'll show you streamlabs obs in this tutorial video so here's the download link you can get this on your pc or mac now let's open up obs and this is what it looks like now you'll have to sign in with your twitch account or youtube account etc and to get started, go ahead and just open up a new scene right over here. So let's go to add a new scene by hitting this plus icon. And let's just call this video just for this video. Go to done. And here it is right here on the bottom. And then we have some things called sources. So if we go to the plus icon here and add a new source, let's add some new sources. So like here's an alert box. If someone were to subscribe, this little icon would display on my screen and you can change the icon the sounds of pictures etc events lists uh, stream label etc if someone donates money you can see it right there so let's go to video capture device now this will be located under the essential sources right on top it says your webcam this can also be your capture cards like elgato evermedia black magic so let's go to add source right here and add it and this is my video camera, but I can choose add a new source at the bottom and then go to add source, etc. And you have to find your capture card under the list. So I already have my capture card located right here, Live Gamer Ultra. So if I go to add source now, it'll be located right here. And my PlayStation 5 is turned on in the background. And I can right click on this and go to transform and fit to screen to make it the entire box. Now, to actually add the audio for the Live Gamer Ultra, we want to go back up to the plus icon right here and then go to Audio Input Capture right here and then go to OK. Then you'll want to go to Add New Source right here at the bottom and then just type something in and then go to Add Source and then go to Devices and locate your capture card. So mine would be the Live Gamer Ultra Audio. Select this. And then you can back out of here, otherwise test the audio. And it's testing the audio right now. Or you can go to mic monitoring and output right here and you would be able to hear the audio come through your speakers at this point. But I typically just keep mine off. But if you wanna hear the audio, go ahead and do that. And then back out of the screen. You can see your audio going up and down in the mixer on the right. So I'm just on the PlayStation and this is just tones in the background going on and off. So you don't want your audio to be really too high into this yellow section. Typically, I keep it a little bit lower. Just in some first-person shooters, when explosions and stuff are going off, it can get really loud. And then let's go up to the plus icon and go back to audio input captures. Go to this. And then choose your 
microphone. So I have my Blue Yeti on here. And I will go ahead and put this in here. And you can see my Blue Yeti microphone is going up and down every time I talk. I typically try to keep this in the middle of the good section. And there's tons of things you can do with just audio. So if you go to your Blue Yeti, double click this, you can see everything in here. But if you right click on it, you can go to filters and go to edit filters. You can add things like noise suppressions. Noise gates are great for eliminating clicks and stuff in the background. A compressor will make it sound like you're a radio talk show host. Gain will increase the sound. So those are typically the things I add to my microphone. And if you want to go ahead and go to the plus icon and add, let's say, a video capture device once again, go to this and add a web camera. So let's go to a web camera now. I'll put this on myself just like this and go to add source. We can put this somewhere in here. Now mine is currently upside down. So I'm going to go to transform once again and just flip this vertically. Now I'm right side up. So that is just one scene. You can have multiple scenes on here. And then let's go to the full screen here for the camera. There's my capture device in the background, my Sony a6400. Now to record this, there's a little record button right here on the bottom right. And you want to go ahead and just first put the pathway to like a specific folder or something or get your canvas size and resolution. So if you go up to output, you can determine like the streaming video bit rate. Here's the recording path. Pick a specific folder to record your videos to. I just have mine in the work folder to screen record. And I have my recording quality, high quality, medium file size. Now this may be a little bit different depending on how much space you have, but I typically go high quality. Then I record in MP4 format, but there's multiple formats on here. And then I have the option because I have a GeForce card to use the encoder NVENC. But here are the different encoder options. Go ahead and just try one. One may work better than the others for you. And then hit OK. And then you should be good to go to start recording your gameplay on your PlayStation 5. And then you would even have your voice and video camera on there as well. So just start streaming it and recording it by hitting the buttons on the bottom right and you should be good to go and that is just a quick generalized overview of streamlabs or obs in general but i hope this video did indeed help you guys out if you did go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios